A couple of months ago, I decided to embark on an adventure into aquatic plants. And the reasoning for this was because I, if some of you don't know, I used to have a pet turtle. I had her for almost 18 years of my life. And unfortunately, last year she passed away due to various health issues and to be honest, old age. She was very, very old. <laughs> it's been a sad journey. And she lived in this big old tank that was kind of specifically designed for her in the sense that it wasn't anything spectacular. Um, it just had kind of, you know, what she felt comfortable in. And over the years, I had tried to introduce aquatic plants and kind of other decor to her setup. Um, and for various reasons that didn't work. So the aquatic plants, anything I tried, she would just eat and rip up and tear and throw around and it would make the water all murky and crazy and plants was really not her thing. It used to really annoy her. Now I did kind of compromise by putting potted plants on top of areas where she couldn't reach and that was fine but they were just like typical epipremnum etc. If you hear my dog's little nails walking around that's what that is. And for other reasons, we couldn't have any kind of sand or like wood or anything that could be perceived as sharp in any way or have kind of texture or grit to it because she had ongoing issues with her eyesight and me and the vet kind of worked together to eliminate anything that could possibly be irritating her in it. So the setup was extremely plain. Since she has passed, I haven't really figured out what to do with this tank. And an idea I did have a couple of months ago was to kind of do an aquatic plant setup in her honor in a way, in a kind of ironic way because she absolutely hated them. I first wanted to, so I had let the filter keep running and all of that to try and keep the water quality okay to a certain extent without something even living in it and so i decided to buy i think i bought five or six aquatic plants and i just put them in the tank and i just wanted to kind of test out am i able to care for them what issues are going to arise before i like start embark on this big bigger setup that i had planned and i started picking up a couple of bits for them and how it went with the aquatic plant so not very well i mean the common ones the anubias and some of the ferny type ones, which I can't remember the name of, um, Microsorum maybe, um, they were fine. Not thriving, but they were fine. The other ones died, so that beautiful pinky purple one, which I kind of read up about, it definitely needs much more of a higher standard of care that obviously as a newbie to any aquatic plants, I was not prepared for and um, that didn't last very long issues that started arising in the tank I had a bit of algae issues um, so I had to do quite more frequent water changes and just scraping the glass and stuff to make sure that that was kind of kept to a lower level I also then um, reduced the lighting how many hours per day that was on so I was trying to reduce that the definitely the reduction in lighting did help but to be honest even with regular water changes there was always some sort of growth happening that i wasn't really able to get rid of so where are we now <laughs> the tank is empty the tank has been emptied on a personal note caring for my turtle in the last two or three years of her life was incredibly time consuming. I mean, of course I do it. I did everything I could for her, but it involved trips across the country to the only reptile specialist that is in our little island of Ireland. Um, it involved, you know, daily medicine between injections, tablets, and giving things like that to a turtle is no easy task, let me tell you. And she was a very boisterous lady and she did not want to do things that she didn't want to do, which is absolutely fair enough. Between that, as well as keeping up with the maintenance of the tank, if some of you don't know, 
Keeping a turtle, especially ones of this size, even with a larger tank, is totally different to caring for fish in the sense that the amount of waste that they produce is insane. So I was always, frequent water changes were just such a big part of my life and maintenance of the tank and maintenance of her. And honestly, I think I, I knew that it was taking a big toll on me, but obviously, there was nothing I could really do about that but do my best for her. And I do believe that I did that until the very end. However, now in the absence of that, and maybe then I was trying to continue with the aquatic plants and I kind of was like, I think that I just need to not do this for a while. I need to not be doing water changes of this tank and kind of troubleshooting issues. So really, I was starting this kind of new journey of trying to figure out how to care for aquatic plants and the learning curve was quite steep, but also not something I felt maybe ready for or that fits well in my life right now. There's a lot of other things going on in the background, but you know, I am quite enjoying just caring for my houseplant collection at the moment, making sure that everybody's you know, well watered, repots. Um, I've been doing a lot of plant chores and things like that. And I just think that the time for embarking on learning about how to care for aquatic plants is not now in my life. So that being said, I've made that decision. And last week I emptied out the tank, which was a huge process because I mean, it hasn't been empty, it like fully, fully cleared out and emptied. I'm talking like I cleaned the filter out, everything's removed, everything's like not full of water anymore. Um, and I also scrubbed the crap out of the tank. So that is the update. And I'm sorry to like, I know I had put out that video, I had the little haul and then I had, you know, kind of bigged up this idea of this project and to be honest, it's just not fitting into my life right now. And so that's the update, the sad aquatic plants update. So the reason it is a sad, but also happy update is that I've decided to do something else with the tank that does not involve aquatic plants or water changes. <laughs> so um, I guess I just wanted this to be a quick, short little update on where I am with that to follow on into the next two part video on the new project. So what I've decided to do is construct basically a big, huge terrarium because it's something that I know. <laughs> um, it's something that I can enjoy the process of making it and then I can let it alone and it's not going to require a huge amount of maintenance for me. Now, obviously, as you can see, I am not filming in my typical office plant space. This is our living room and this is where the tank lives over to my side here. And so it's going to be like this kind of piece in our room that is hopefully beautiful to look at. That is <laughs> the update. So the next video, which you will see in the next couple of days, will be on what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to film the whole process. I'm going to film, I've, I've gotten loads of materials for it. I have everything prepped. I'm ready to start. Um, but I wanted to just close out the aquatic plants chapter first. So look forward to the very next video on the tank build, I guess the terrarium build. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it yet, but I'm really, really excited. I have gotten some new plants as well to put into it. And um, I think that I'm just really excited to do this. So let's hope that my ideas and everything works out, <laughs> but you will find out very soon in those next videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has made you think about while maybe we want to, if, you, if your brain is anything like me, you might have an idea and be like, yes, I'm obsessed with this, I'm gonna do this. But then there may become a point along that journey where you realize that that is actually not suited for me in my life right now. And you have to be able to just let those ideas go. Um, and I feel really good about it. Um, sorry to those aquatic plants, obviously, they're not gonna live anymore. 
um, they weren't looking so hot anyway, the ones that were remaining, but they will be composted. And I know that's a waste and that's not good, but it is what it is. So I will leave this video there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are looking forward to the next thing that's gonna happen with this tank. I definitely am and I can't wait to get stuck in. Um, so yeah, I will see you very soon in the next um, tank build video. Take care, bye.